Dozens of people gathered around the downtown sales Thursday night to remember murdered women on the anniversary of Montreal's A Cold Polytechnic Massacre. He murdered 14 women that day and injured many others. And it was a very clear act of gender-based violence and one of the first ones that our Canadian government recognized as such. The names of the 14 murdered women from the 1989 killing are read aloud, followed by the missing and murdered women from across the Okanagan. Roses were laid down in their memory. In the 90s, somebody started a list of names of local women who have been murdered by men, typically their spouse or their ex-spouse. And so we have continued to add that list. Unfortunately, every year we've had to add new names of women who have been killed. We really want to remember these women, um, who they were, what their lives were like, and to not forget their names because um, every year we're continuing to add more and we want to make sure that violence against women ultimately is ended. And a lot of people say that violence against women is actually a, a men's problem and so it's nice to see some men coming out to support this event and ultimately it's male behaviour and, and our gender norms and our culture that need to change. So um, hopefully that's something that's starting to shift with the Me Too movement and people are starting to be able to speak out and be heard and it's so important that people are believed when they tell these stories. For Castanet News in Kelowna, I'm Nick Johansson. Thank you.